Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of several premium ESV Bibles from Crossway. Okay, some of my most watched videos, my most loved videos here on YouTube are when I do Bible comparison, comparison videos from one Bible to another. And I've reviewed a lot of really great ESV Bibles over the year. You have the ones from Schuyler, the Schuyler Quintel, and the personal size Quintel. Now they have the ESV wide margin Quintel. The ESV Bibles from R.L. Allen are fantastic. I've reviewed all of the premium Bibles from ESV in the ESV from Cambridge. So I have a lot of those videos. I, I did one really fun video where I did a side-by-side -side comparison of all of the, the kind of two-column reference Bible premium style. I did the, the ESV Omega from Crossway, which I have right here, the R.L. Allen Reader, the Topaz from Cambridge, and the ESV Quintel from Schuyler Bible. So I did a video like that. I've done a, a lot of different comparison style videos, right? ESV this, ESV that. But what I've never done is really looked at what Crossway has to offer and really done a side-by-side -side comparison. Crossway is the primary publisher of the ESV translation. They do a really great job and they have this beautiful line of Bibles called the Heirloom Collection. That's these three right here. The current ones in print at the bottom down here is the Legacy, in the middle is the Omega, and on top is the Heritage. These are the current Bibles in the line of the Heirloom Collection. So I wanted to do a side-by-side, -side. so this video started with thinking I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with these three Bibles that are currently available to you, premium ESV Bibles from Crossway, so you can see the differences. And I realized, you know what, later this year they have an ESV heirloom thin line coming out, so I have my Buffalo edition of that Bible, just so you can get a closer look at it. And then also, they make some high-end Bibles called the Preaching Bible Series. They're not technically part of the heirloom collection, but you have the Preaching Bible and the verse-by-verse -verse Preaching Bible. So I wanted to do a fun video where we just look specifically at the premium ESV Bibles from Crossway, and specifically these three over here. Again, if you're looking to get a great new Bible, the Legacy, the Omega, and the Heritage are all very different. Super high quality, fantastic options, but they're very different. And so we're really going to take a closer look and help you decide which one is right for you. That's my goal here at Bible Review Blog is to help you find a Bible that's right for you. So I hope this video does just that. Now we're going to do an overhead and do a side-by-side -side comparison of these great Bibles. Okay, since I mentioned the preaching Bibles, first things first, here on the left you have the original ESV preaching Bible. It's a, a paragraph format Bible. It's a little bit over uh, six inches by nine inches. I think it's six and a quarter by nine and an eighth inches tall. It has a 10 point type size, and the idea here is big margins. There's no cross references or anything. They got input from a bunch of different preachers in here. So, uh, verse by verse for a poetic setting, but then everywhere else it's a paragraph format. Then they released the verse by verse edition of that Bible, which is the same specs, same size, except for every verse begins. A new paragraph. So um, biggest difference is in that you see in the Psalms you get a poetic setting on this one but this guy is is still the verse by verse. It's the same design as the rest of the Bible. So there's a slightly different look. These are not printed and bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. I do not know if they're going to switch the preaching Bibles to being printed back there. So they're both goatskin printed in China. You can see this is one of the, the older preaching Bibles with that kind of wider pebble and this has a little bit slightly tighter. This is the last one, that, the verse by verse is the last one they did in China. And I thought it turned out really great. The quality was really great. So you have those two. They're, they're not the heirloom collection, but they're technically premium. These are the three that they currently have in print. You have the Omega, the Legacy, and the Heritage, right? So um, it, now, <laughs> all the different options. Basically, the standard option is going to be the black goatskin option. So this is the Heritage in black goatskin from Crossway. They also released, as I did videos earlier this week, the Horween leather edition. So you have, coming from Crossway, Horween, brown Horween or black Heritage goatskin. Those are your two options. Now if you want to get a deep dive into the Horween, I did an unboxing video. I did a side-by-side -side comparison of these two. So you can get a closer look at that. So that's your options from Crossway. Then you have EvangelicalBible.com, which is the same folks as Schuyler Bibles, they have exclusive editions of these of these two Bibles. They have exclusive editions of the uh, Omega and the Legacy in green, blue, and purple goatskin. So here's one of the green ones. This is actually not one of the newest green ones. It's an older edition. So it's got some slightly different stamping on the spine. It's got thinner ribbons. They actually went to wider ribbons. But So you can get green, blue, or purple in either one of these if you don't want to go black 
or the Horween. This, so this one right here, as you see, notice it's brown. It's an older edition that is not currently in print, but this is the Omega in brown goatskin. It's like one of my favorite Bibles of all time, so that's why I've held on to this one. So these are the three Bibles that are currently in print. Have they made other heirloom Bibles? Yes, they've done the heirloom study Bible. A lot of people ask me about that. It's currently not in print. They've done an heirloom thin line, which is currently not in print, but it's coming back. So just so you can see, I brought my thin line in Buffalo. Later in 2022, they're going to have an heirloom collection of this Bible. It's going to at least come in black goatskin. So you can see this one compared to that guy. It's about the same uh, footprint as far as the text block goes, but it's much, much, much thinner. So if you don't like what you see in one of these three, you can hang on weight. It's a two-column text block. It does not have cross-references. It just has the textual footnotes at the bottom, and at the back you get a concordance and maps. So that's the thin line of that edition. So now, really doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the three premium Bibles that Crossway has available right now. The Omega and the Legacy, in terms of size, are both going to be right at that six inches, not, six inches wide, nine inches tall. As you can see, I'm going to put the Omega on the bottom here. The Omega is very thin. It's basically their large print thin line reference Bible, so it's a very, very thin Bible an inch or less thin, whereas the Legacy is over an inch thick. And then you have the Heritage is a smaller Bible. It's only five and a half by about eight and a quarter inches, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit thicker. So as far as overall size goes, you can kind of see this is the, uh, this is the smallest as, as far as uh, trim size goes, but then this one is really, really thin over here on the Omega. So again, Omega Legacy Heritage. The biggest differences in these Bibles, this one, like I said, is one of the new ones. If you got the black goatskin edition of any of these Bibles, this is what it's going to look like on the outside. It's going to have raised spine hubs. It's going to have the gold spine stamping. It's going to have a perimeter stitch around the outside. It's going to come with these four ribbons. It's going to have a, a mild red under gold art gilding, that gold gilt line around the inside. That's what all of these are going to have that vibe. If you get one of the, the new ones from Evangelical Bible, the exclusives, they went with the thicker, nicer ribbons on there. So you're, you get an upgrade on the ribbons if you want to go um, with them on that side of things. The biggest differences between these Bibles are the text blocks. So let's open these up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Legacy, show it to you. So Legacy is a single column text block. It has a nine point type size. It's really, really clean. It has these big margins. And you notice that they put the the headers, the section headings, out in the margins. And they're really, it's kind of the idea of really letting the page fill up and be really easy to read. It's like a clean, crisp, it's a different design. It's one of the more unique designs on the Bible market. That is the legacy. The heritage is also a single column, but it has more of a traditional look and feel. The headings are right there in the text, that sort of thing. It looks pretty normal. It's a little bit smaller. So it's got the same uh, concept, so to speak, as far as like single column, really, really nice and readable, but it keeps more of a traditional look and feel as far as the, the, um, the section headings, the overall page dimensions and things like that. You see this one has this big wide open margins here on the side and the bottom. And so it's just slightly, slightly different. You can notice here, this is like I said, this is an older edition slightly different art gilt than one of the new ones. And then the Omega is a two column reference Bible. So you get a two column text. This is actually a 10 and a half point text. So as far as text size goes for all these three, nine point text on the Legacy, 9.25 on the Lexicon, although you can see this one's it's spaced a little bit more generously on the page. So it has a little bit more room to breathe. And then it's a 10 and a half point font on the Omega. This is just a classic two column reference Bible. The cross references here are on the bottom right of each page. That's where all your cross references are. So you still get the textual footnotes, but you also get cross references. You'll notice these two do not have cross references. So if you're looking for an ESV Bible and you want cross references, none of these Bibles, including the uh, aforementioned thin line that's coming out in an heirloom collection later, it does not have cross references either. So if you want cross-references from Crossway in a premium Bible, the Omega is your Bible. So that's a really quick way for you to decide which one you want if you know you want cross-references. Now, if you want two-column text, you're going to have this option or the thin line option. If you want a much smaller Bible, thin line without the cross-references, you can have that one. So this is the only one of these current three that's a two-column text. And if your type size, if you want it to be north of 10-point font, you're going to want to go with this one as well. Beautiful Bible. Um, 
As far as other features go, the, the reference Bible, the Omega Reference Bible, has, at the end of the Bible, has the full ESV concordance as well as the Bible maps. You get that same thing with the Legacy. So the Legacy comes with a concordance and the Bible maps right there. The Heritage, you get the maps, but you don't get a concordance. That's probably because this is a little bit thicker Bible, so they didn't want to make it even thicker than it already is. But just take a look there on the screen. I'm going to try to stack that right there so you can see it. Single column, a very unique style on the Legacy. Single column, more traditional and a little bit smaller. And then a two column reference Bible. So if you're thinking size, I want a smaller footprint Bible. That's where you're going to want to look at the Heritage. You still get a 9.25 font. It's really easy to read but it's a little bit of a smaller package. I like this overall size. It's, you know, for me, I don't have big hands and it's about a hand size Bible. It's just a little bit smaller, ready to go on the go. If you want cross references and you want to study, I think that the Omega is really nice. It does have a, a 10 and a half point type size. It's got all those cross, ref cross references. It's everything you could want in a Bible other than if you wanted to study Bible with study notes, that's what you get. In the Omega. And then the Legacy is like, oh, if you just want something a little bit different, a little bit funkier, these extra margins, the, the headers out here on the side, it's just doing something a little bit different. I like all three of these Bibles, but they are very unique. And so when it comes to what Crossway is offering in the premium Bible world right now, these three currently in print, Heritage, Legacy, Omega, three distinctly different Bibles. They're all going to have the same quality build. They're printed and bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. Same great paper. Lots of very, very similar specs. But when it comes to the inside, they're three very unique text blocks. you got a couple of single column options. Normally it would go the other way around. Normally a, a Bible publisher would give you multiple two columns and fewer single column text blocks. You have a couple of single column options. You have one really, really solid two column option in the Omega. And again, the thin line's coming. I would certainly hope that they bring back the ESV study Bible to their heirloom collection and maybe even other Bibles in their line that they would continue to add on to this. But these are the three current ones that you have the heirloom collection available from Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands, the top of the top, most premium Bibles from Crossway. So there you have it, a comparison of a bunch of different really great ESV premium Bibles from Crossway. Now here's what I want you to do. Go down to the comments, let me know when you look at these three Bibles, the Heritage, the Omega, and the Legacy, which one is your favorite and why? If you could only have one of these Bibles, which one would you pick? That's what I want to know. Leave that in the comments. If you have questions, you can leave those in the comments as well. Now I've done full reviews of all three of these Bibles, so I will put links in the video description. Definitely go to the video description. I say this all the time, but go there for this video and see those links. I'll also put links to all the other videos that I mentioned and any other Bible that kind of came in. I've done a lot of reviews and unboxing videos. I'll put all of that in the description of this video. And if you're interested in purchasing one, I'll put links to purchase Bibles in the description as well. This was really fun for me. I've got one more video in the ESV Premium Bibles from Crossway Week, so definitely check that out tomorrow. It's going to be really, really fun. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.